Okay, <clears throat> this is question three. Before we go into the question, Lena, let me just say um in the description below, we will follow all my links for many more questions according to the question paper. Right. Okay. Now, uh, Lana, we have a vertical projectile motion, but Lana, we have a free fall problem because. But in the diagram below, point A is at the top of a building. Point B is exactly halfway between the point A and the ground. Ignore the effects. Ignore, ignore air resistance. 3.1 define the term free fall. So, free fall, I'm sure it's whenever I see dropper an object and then I see project, but say I drop, right? And then uma we drop the object allow a layer object could the experience only the, the 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 force of any gravity that's basically the definition here guys your free fall hang it all right good question three sikulumang free fall free fall it's a free fall of a bus 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 you could see define a little free fall okay three point one is when an object is under the influence of gravity only under the influence of gravity only or under the yeah, under the influence of gravity only. Right, something like that. 3.2. A ball of mass 0 0.4 kilogram is dropped from point A. It passes B after one second. So the ball is dropped. drop the sugar from A is going to point B after a second and there's a, there's an important statement that was cool me then but he, point b is exactly halfway in bold halfway between the point a and the ground so would be if say for instance um the building is 50 meters in like the height of the building it's 50 meters it means the distance from a to b is going to be 25 meters from b to the ground it's 25 meters right because up is halfway between a and the ground now lanabat is calculated the height of point a that's the point above the ground and calculate the height of point a just above the ground so that's for the distance from la to this point okay but you pay in what data do we have for 3.2 we know that the initial velocity a2 is going to be equal to zero meters per second because it's a free fall ball drop and then i'm choosing up as positive g is equal to negative comma nine eight meters per second squared why because the gravity is always acting down it's always acting downward and then i'm um, given u delta t which is one second and then the one second is actually the time it takes for the ball to move from a to b it takes one second from a to b so it means mobile seven said the one second the distance is we calculate which is delta y is the distance between a and b you can you taller the distance from a to b the delta y good data data i am is the distance from a to b because a no b are halfway through before the height of the building so it means now being taller a b you multiply or two zone together the height yellow building from the ground to a now taller the distance yala you multiply or two is only guess at the height of the building so let's calculate the delta y 
So seven are which formula for delta y, which formula for delta y, f, f v squared equal to, hmm? do I have, no, I don't have the final velocity. Okay, yeah. so it means in zone zone, so seven are which one? Oh, this one, this one. Delta y is equal to delta t plus half g delta t squared. So seven are the formula le. You ubani. Ufuna u delta y. So is equal to initial velocity it's zero. Time it's one second plus a half minus nine comma eight. Time is one second squared is equal to is equal to lana uh, it's zero so it's a half times minus nine comma eight times uh, one I'm five like I didn't know. something like minus four comma nine meters so the negative is still with the the distance and so since i chose up as positive and the, the, the object the army mover from a to until it hits the ground and at the distance a we travel remember delta y is a vector so a negative number simply means we are going down so we answer a to the height is equal to two times u delta y. Why you multiply on two? Because u b, it has calculated the distance from a to b, and u b u halfway through. Nine comma four comma nine times two is equal to minus nine comma eight meters. So answer it is nine comma eight meters down, down. Down, see your pants, see your pants, see your pants. So now you answer it to be for 3.2. Now, here, Kubega, the question here to party when the ball strikes the ground, it is in contact with the ground for 0 0.2 seconds and then bounces vertically upwards, reaching a maximum height at B. Polale to the sugar from A. It bounces, it in contact with the ground for 0 0.2 seconds, then it bounces all the way up to a maximum height of B. So it meaning the maximum height after the first bounce is over the same as the height the B. Now, now 3.3, but to calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the ball when it strikes the ground. When it strike, when it strikes the ground, three point three. Let's take out the data. Um, let's say from A. Yeah. So that information, like in so that information from point A, just before it hits the ground again. I know. I'm choosing up as positive. Nyazuti. The default value is about minus 9,8 meters per second squared. Uh, initial velocity is about zero. Uh, okay, 940. What else do I have? Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Let's got to calculate a value delta y from a until the ground is as good. So you know, minus 9,8 meters. Remember, let's calculate the value above delta y, the distance from a to b. Sorry, from a until it, from between a and the ground, the distance is what? 9,8. Eight. Hey, Minang funny velocity of the velocity of the ball when it strikes the ground. So, funa u final velocity. So, yep, formula I seven zisa. Check the formula sheet. The up your with its v squared v initial plus two acceleration times delta y 
final velocity is the value of the initial velocity 0, 2 times minus 9, comma 8, and then y, y is also uh, 9, comma 8, right? 9,8. This young confused I believe. 9,8. This this the e the height and then 9,8 the, the gravitational acceleration. Interesting. Not interesting. Yeah, poor. <laughs> yes, yes. Answer. It's nine one nine two zero eight. It's positive because Lana. Negative and a negative is by a positive final velocity square both sides. Final velocity is plus minus. La. Remember mathematics. No square, you need to put a plus or minus sign. So our answer is 13,86 in two decimal places, meters per second. And it's a negative value. Why? Moba? Final velocity is pointing downward, so VF is equal to 13,86 meters per second down. Ola, ola, zikoko, ola, ola, zikoko. Okay, 3.4. 3.4, but tiki calculate the magnitude of the average net force exerted on the ball while it is in contact with the ground while it is in contact with the ground. So Lana, we need to use the impulse formula. The formula for the impulse, because that's the only time <coughs> C7 or C, 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 C net force call, right? Especially a ball, when the ball is in contact with the ground, you change a E, you change a E, momentum so therefore a change in momentum is simply net force times the contact time so f net times delta t is equal to a change in change in momentum i i have a, a change in time masipeona uh, which is the contact time 0 comma 2 i need to f net the first thing we're coming here in the mind is to calculate the change in momentum. Right? Let polar lens are so now you bounce a boom. If you get bounce, it'll be in contact for 0 0,2 seconds, then it takes off again. Meaning now the velocity, the change in momentum, you calculate using the velocity. When it hits the ground, this will be considered the, in the initial velocity. Right? In this case, things will choose the up as positive. Uh, so it means the one going down, the initial velocity A2, moves over the velocity just before it hits the ground, the final velocity is going to be after it bounces. So it means for each change in momentum, I need the, the final velocity now. After the ball has bounced, the initial velocity now, I've got to go calculator, negative 13, 13,86 meters per second. Meters per second. For now the final velocity here now. So for the final velocity, I need to consider this bounce. This bounce la. Nyaz got na figure maximum height yoba ubani. The for the velocity yoba u zero. And then the height lana is what? Delta y is equal to uh, 4,9. Remember this distance here found on this distance. In the first question, 3.2, 3.2, not the first one, it's totally 4.9. So now line it means about 4.9. Now, the, the, the ball after bouncing, you reach a maximum height at B. So it means with delta y, you about 4,9 meters so la so sing keep it data this was cut ne? delta y is equal to i'm choosing up as positive 4.9 meters uh, and uh, the value at delta y over positive because the ball is going upwards now g minus 9.8 meters per second squared 
uh, final velocity remember the final velocity in kulumanga this maximum the velocity at the maximum height is zero the initial velocity which is the final velocity this sketch this is equal to unknown for no calculator your right okay now the information lena i want to find e initial velocity in a seven side if you formula the one in i include is cut it's final velocity squared initial velocity squared plus two g delta y final velocity zero initial velocity is what infunion squared plus two g which is what g is minus 9,8 and then y is 4,9 so lana is 0 equal to initial squared negative 2 times 9,8 times 4,9 answer 9,604 transpose 96,04 equal to v initial squared now square up both sides you get plus minus my quarter low 9604 square root say to stone of uh, it's plus minus 9,8 meters per second initial velocity to nila right but the answer here yeah, me goes about one a positive nine meters per second initial velocity which is in is actually the final velocity of the ball now this is compare the velocity just before it hits the ground and after the bounce so lana give a plus nine comma eight meters per second now we can calculate the change in momentum so now f net is equal to delta p over delta t so delta p is p final minus p initial and then t now which is 0 comma 2 p final it's mass times it's mass mass gonna mass so it's a common factor lana no final velocity minus initial velocity over delta t mass of the ball is given as 0 comma 4 so lana it's 0 comma 4 close bracket final velocity the final velocity is 9,8 minus initial velocity it's negative 13,86 close bracket close bracket 0, 0,2 0, 0,2 uh, 0, 0,2 so lana is 0, 0,4 0, 0,4 times open bracket 9,8 minus minus 13,86 close brackets 0, 0,2 answer is 47,32 newtons and in exactly any it's for now the, the magnitude of the exerted on the ball while it is in contact with the ground actually a ball are now, now live in contact with the ground the, the the ball is applying a downward force and then the ground is applying an upward force and the lama force way to are equal but in opposite directions newton state law so lana is over upward direction because it's for now the exerted force by the the force exerted by the ground so it's over up so if you do it lana thanks for watching now we enjoy a little video leave a like um just leave a like now have a question as pagu in the comment section um consider subscribing nanga we are gala of figure the channel dena there's great content there's, there's great content kunalana uh, so yeah thanks for watching and uh, oh, oh in the description below kuna manyama link for amanya amanyama link for my questions upon the question paper so thanks for tuning in uh as as one video thanks